The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. At the location. No hostile presence. Understood. Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. Bodies. Male and female. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Uh, Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Uh, don't know when you folks are back in town, but uh, give me a shout so I can swing by and uh, fix that pesky bathroom ventilation system for you. <laughs> I can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> And anywho, like I said, uh, just give me a shout. That's Ari, uh, the repair guy. Found something. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. In a press conference earlier today, Montreal PD confirmed rumors that the helicopter crash, which claimed the life of shipping mogul Rex Larson four days ago, was indeed an act of terrorism. This is the fifth titan of industry to be murdered since the kidnapping and execution of media mogul Thomas Cross in New York a month ago. 
While no organization has yet claimed responsibility, authorities believe these politically motivated killings are the work of highly trained mercenaries. In Japan, Kronstadt Industries' much-hailed surgery robot, nicknamed the Spider, has lost its first patient on the operating table. The Gamma Medical Facility has released a statement insisting that the tragic incident was due to human error. Nevertheless, this comes as bad news for the consumer tech giant, which is still reeling from last year's PR disaster, where stolen Kronstadt fighting drones were employed by Karanyang dictator Jinpo against peaceful civilians in the Tungan Valley Massacre. So far, Kronstadt has been silent about the incident. But CEO Robert Knox is expected to make a statement early next week. Teen fans are barely out of their mourning period. But today, Monumental Records announced a new record release by synth rock sensation The Class. Jordan Cross, The Class' charismatic yet tormented frontman, who died under mysterious circumstances during the recording of the band's much-anticipated sophomore album, left behind three brand new tracks, which Monumental planned to release as an EP. The label spokesperson calls the move a loving tribute to a shining star extinguished much too soon. Meanwhile, Heidi Santoro, the class guitarist and longtime creative partner of Cross, calls the release a shameless money grab. Santoro, who left Monumental shortly after Jordan Cross's death, is working on a solo release of her own, along with X-Class drummer Quentin Moriarty. In Panama City, Interpol agents have arrested the last surviving member of the legendary gang of thieves known as the Yardbirds. Alexander Kovac, a Serbian native, was attempting to convert close to 50 million U.S. dollars into bitcoins the spoils of the Yardbird's spectacular final casino heist. And now, nations are lining up to prosecute Kovac, including Russia, Germany, the U.S., and Austria, where Kovac is the prime suspect in a triple murder at a wedding ceremony. And good news for urban fantasy fans. The upcoming Cassandra Snow movie, Tears of the Wolf, was announced today the sixth installment in the record-breaking teen fantasy franchise, which will be filmed exclusively in New Zealand, finds the eponymous Snow in a perilous parallel dimension where she must destroy the mystical source of lycanthropy across the multiverse and save her new boyfriend Jared from the curse of the blood moon. This is the first Cassandra Snow movie that is not based on the best-selling books by late author Craig Black. And some critics do fear that the franchise will take a radical departure from the source material. Only time will tell, but at least the scenery will be stunning. We will be back after this short break. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. In a 47, that computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Ah, thought so. This should be interesting. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Nicely done, 47. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. 
a message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector? Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Maximilian! Here, boy! Max! Where are you hiding, you little monster? No jump scares. A new record released by Synth Rock Sensation The Class. Jordan Cross, the class charismatic yet torn. Max! Jared, Terry all clear. Copy that. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were gonna say that. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Bierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to... well... Do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, honey. No problema. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problema. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody and your family dies. Do we have terms? Not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Ugh. 
Unbelievable. I'm gonna turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Gerard, we're turning in. You can keep guard outside the door. Oh, and tell the guys to keep a lookout for Max once they dispose of the bodies, yeah? Damn. Damn thing must have run off again. <laughs> Let go of the neighborhood pets. Yeah, heads up, everyone. Max is on the prowl again. So if you find a trail of blood, it's just nature taking its course. Over. It's just nature taking its course. Over. So, uh, when are you gonna tell the house about me? When am I what? You know what I mean. Welcome home, Alma. And guest. I'm staying here too, you know. Least you could do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, um, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Hmm, funny. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga, like five days from now. I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. Like, all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. You know the boss, belt and suspenders kind of guy. Well, I don't, and neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. Call me old fashioned, but like I say, uh, I like to know who I'm risking my life for. You know why? The rest are details. It's easy for you to say. At least you're in the loop. I take orders just like you. In fact, the boss deliberately keeps me out of the loop. I don't even know who the other cells are. Compartmentalization is key. Yeah, I guess. But that's Sean new. Jordan Cross, the class charismatic yet tormented frontman who died under mysterious circumstances there. during the yeah, recording of the tight. band's much anticipated sophomore watch. album. And this Mouse. just in. In downtown London, a man has allegedly plummeted to his death from the headquarters of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. While the identity is unconfirmed, several eyewitness tweets claim that the deceased is none other than Rupert Pierce. Dynasty's founder and CEO. We will keep you updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. How about a scotch? No, I just brushed my teeth. Oh, well, suit yourself. I'm having one before bed then. Good for the blood flow. That reminds me. I need you to do something for me. Okay. What's the gig? It's a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. A truckload of cutting-edge Kronstadt Industries military hardware. Drones and shit. You'll get a kick out of it, I promise. Well, shit, the Noxes really are defecting. High-level Providence stooges like them? That's a real feather in your cap. So why aren't you the one doing the honors? See, there's just a teensy possibility that it could be a trap. And if it is, well, I'm too important to risk. Wow. Don't start. No, no, I get it. Everyone's expendable, but some are more expendable than others. Is that it? I wouldn't put it on a t-shirt, but, well, yeah. In a nutshell. Fine, I'll do it. I know you can hold your own and all that, but I want you to be safe, Alma. I mean, I'd hate it if... Oh, jeez, it's chilly out here. Hey, any sign of Max? No, ma'am. 
But one of the lads found a bunch of dead sheep down the road. Max strikes again. Oh, oh well. As long as he's happy. It's me. I know it was her birthday. I forgot. What do you want me to say? I'm an international fugitive. I don't have time for silly bourgeois. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. So, how's Mercedes? Oh, did she get that role in the school play? Unicorn? Oh. Wait, front end or back end? <laughs> That's my girl. Well, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, is there? I chose my path a long time ago, Thelia. Long before the kid was ever even born. She's more yours than mine at this point. Besides, this thing I'm doing now, it's important. It will change things. I gotta believe that. I know you don't approve of my methods, like you never approved of Dad's, but... <laughs> Look, just tell her to break a leg. Okay? Bye, sis. Firing blanks my ass. Thanks a bunch, Sean. Alma? Alma, are you? Great. I'm talking to myself like a schmuck. God, I'm just a ball patch away from turning into my father. Hey, Alma? I think we're out of soap. Alma! Alma! Stop playing around! Alma! Can you hear me? Alma! Hello? Something's weird around here. Gerard? Orson? Yeah. You seen Alma? Mm, maybe. Over. Doesn't feel right. too soon. Meanwhile, Heidi Santoro, the class guitarist and longtime creative partner of Cross, calls the release a shameless money grab. Santoro, who... And this just in. In downtown... That's the thing I can't get out of my head. I never heard a thing. Not even saw the shadows move. And then they just started dropping like flies. Berg, Rose, Pavati, Graves, one after the other. It was like Death himself was stuck in the camp. This guy, he could have walked straight past me. Never felt anything was amiss. I can't begin to imagine how that feels, man. Like your instincts are suddenly worth shit. Hey, don't do this to yourself, man. The way Alma tells it, this guy, he's in a different league altogether. <laughs> I'll say. How'd he do it, though? That's the thing that drives me mad. I gotta know how this guy strolled into a heavily fortified compound, took out four experienced operatives without so much as raising the alarm, and vanished without leaving a fucking trace. Ah, he got lucky. That's all there is to it. Now put it out of your mind. He could be here. If he was there, why not here? And we'd never even know it. So Alma and Orson infiltrate this party at the Prime Minister's house. Meanwhile, the team stands by in the sewers below. During a cello performance, Alma sneaks off and shuts down the estate's security systems. And while everyone's eyes are somewhere else, we swoop in, grab the mark and her kids, sedate them, and poof, we're gone. Like clockwork. Nice. Where'd you stash them? Old barn. About 20 miles from here. Kids must be terrified. We're not gonna hurt them. Not if the husband does what he's told. And if he tries to be a hero? Yeah, then that's a different situation. Providence can't think we're soft. It'll endanger the whole plan. I thought the boss said no innocent civilians. Leaders say a lot of things. For the people on the ground to interpret. That's gotta be deep enough. What, are you afraid we're gonna set the beach on fire? No, but we don't want animals digging up the charred bones, now do we? Especially not Max. You fellas bring the drums of kerosene. They're in the back of the truck. Plenty of juice for two. Poor bastards. 
Hey, Reynard tell you who they were? Now, why'd I want to know a thing like that? You in the market for some inner demons, Nash? Because I'll sell you some of mine, no worries. Yeah, no, it's just... We weren't supposed to kill civilians. Boss's orders. Well, maybe if someone hadn't been cheap on the chloroform, Moneybags here wouldn't have woken up in the van and torn Alma's mask off. Then maybe he and the missus would still be alive. Just food for thought. Oh, real nice. Knock it off. It's nobody's fault. Best laid plans and all that. These folks are collateral damage. There's no point in knowing their life stories. Besides, this is Alma's operation. If the boss got a problem with our methods, he'll take it up with her. So just dig the hole and light him up. I second that. Anyway, how many is that off the kill list? Let's see. Um, the boss took down Eugene Cobb, Milton Fitzpatrick CEO, and Thomas Cross, the media mogul, all on his own. Since militia was formed, we've taken down five more of the bastards. A construction CEO in Shanghai, lady from Blue Seed Pharmaceuticals, Dan Zieger, the insurance mogul in Berlin, Barisan Martin, the retail giant, Rex Larson, the shipping king. And finally, tonight, we hit Rupert Pierce. CEO of Dynasty Global. <laughs> Can't wait to see that smug prick bite the pavement. Kidnapping the VP's family and blackmailing him to kill his own boss. Alma sure has a scary brain sometimes. Yeah, question is, what's it all good for? What's it all good for? Providence is an octopus and we're tearing off its limbs one by one. Media, shipping, pharma, now online retail. Even if they do kill us all, Providence will spend years repairing the damage. Besides, Orson says one of their operatives is ready to defect. Knox, the tech guy? Uh, we got them sons of bitches round. Sooner or later, we'll get to someone who knows the higher-ups, and then whack. Yeah, unless nobody knows anything and we're basically chasing ghosts. Shit, they're not gods, Nash. Just clever suits. They can't be completely untraceable. If there's a weak link, and trust me, there is, the boss will find it. And if the two of you don't dig faster, we'll have a crab buffet on our hands. Just saying. Yeah. Fancy place. Well, I suppose Alma has one hell of an expense account. How much did the boss loot from that cross guy? Was it three billion? Something like that. But actually, this is Alma's old safe house, from her Bonnie and Clyde days with Sean Rose. Huh. Guess left-wing terrorism pays better than you think. Yeah, that or she shot the owner. Still, I've got to say, this is a swanky place to lay low. It's got a house AI and voice control and everything. Kick-ass security system, too. Of course, she never turns it on because of Max. Apparently, he's so big, the sensors treat him as an intruder. Why not just lock him in the garage? <laughs> Orson tried that, and, uh, well, Max ate the tires on his SUV and half a bicycle. <laughs> no, Max doesn't like to be tied down. Well, they do say pets take after their owners. Maxi, Maxi, Maxi! Max!